I had to do it. I'm sorry, this is just too cool. Obviously, just visualize some uh, hot water and some bubbles, maybe some friends. Uh, this is living, guys. Welcome to the Darwin class, the CDM Cantieri Della Mare. I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna call it CDM. Um, yeah, this is the walkthrough. I'm Dan Jones, welcome to Dan's Boat Life. If you're interested in a technical walkthrough of this boat, that is a separate video. I'm gonna pop that up in the description below and it'll come up on screen right now. We're just gonna start up here on the flybridge because this is amazing. We've got so much entertainment space, having the little hot tub there, spa bath. I imagine it makes all the bubbles and all the cool stuff with the, the, the best view in the house. Um, it's a windy day today. Uh, we do have these wind deflectors, which you'd see uh, from the drone shots, makes this area quite comfortable in all conditions. Um, going underneath all the communications under the radar mast, we've got this massive freezer. I'm gonna lift this, it's quite heavy, but just to put it into perspective, oh, look at that. That is one ginormous freezer. So capacity for long-term storage is huge and that will continue. So all teak on the deck here, and then we've got a couple of bar stools and our barbie set up just here with a decent barbecue, stainless steel sink. Um, this looks like some sort of stone bench top, super nice. And then all of these seats behind us. So let's have a look at that. One, two timber tables. You would get two families around here, no problems enjoy the views, you are in the sun, so if you want to get out of it, we have options. Keep moving. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try and keep this uh, video to a reasonable length, guys, so, so bear with me. Check this out. Beautiful big oval table. You can get the same number of people from up there seated around this table for an amazing setup with an equally good view, and we have the option of shade. So we've got some storage in here. We're also um, essentially on the tender deck. So this is where you would store one of the tenders. So we've got the two ton crane lift just here and these railings will remove from just here so you can bring it in without clocking the railings. Um, when it's in guest mode, this area here is obviously gonna be set up with tables and chairs and you won't have any tenders in place. And it can be completely shaded. We've got two stainless steel poles out, this, uh, out either end just there, which will take a sunshade to protect this area. So when you're in the top end, this can be quite a nice place to be. We've got life rafts on either side, deployable. Come on in. Huge, big stainless steel entranceways, big sliding doors, which has opened this whole area up and into one of the first little hangout zones, all lovely air conditioned. Pop-up TV here, beautiful views just here. This is just behind the bridge. So we go through this door to get to the bridge. We've covered that in the other video and down this stairway to go to the main deck. So we'll go down there and have a look, but just first try and soak up the interior. CDM, they do whatever you like. They're a custom builder. So you have whatever you choose, but it's just a really nice family homey vibe I get on this boat. And some of the finishings are quite cool. So come on down this stairway and let's have a look. Going past the day head just here. And check out the saloon. So you have another smaller dining area just here and then you've got storage on either side. But this space here is what it's all about. You know, wonderful views out either side, beautiful opposing lounges just here and your coffee tables there and there. And we'll have to cut to some shots of this because I'm not gonna do it right now. This is actually a bar. So you go from your saloon area out to the aft deck, which really, you're probably gonna hang out a lot down here, I imagine, because you've got a lot of shade, but you pass through this super funky bar. So just imagine the experience getting off the tender, coming up onto the back of the boat, into the bar, grabbing a drink, and then chilling out in the saloon just here. It's, this is what it's all about. So once again, another great option out here. We've got these beautiful seats. 
just imagine yourself in the top end on this lunch setup. You've had a good fish for the afternoon. You've been burning around on the tenders, maybe doing some wakeboarding, going for a dive or a fish. This is what it's all about. So huge amount of space just here. Um, and you obviously got a lot of protection from the sun. So let's keep moving and actually go to the accommodation because you want to see that. So this particular boat has got the master berth forward and it's, it's six berths in total. So uh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not going the right way. It's this way, here we go. So the master berth is forward, full beam with a lovely head and separate shower. And then it's a really neat layout for all the guest accommodation. So let's just go straight into the master first. You come up these three stairs and you're fully sorted. You've got your own little private office to port. You've got hanging storage for all your clothes and your bits and pieces on either side. You've got all these little nooks and crannies all the way through. I'm not gonna open everything up. This is a privately owned boat, so it's not my place to do that. But you've got your wonderful flat screen TV, sit up in bed, and then just look at, look at how cool all the design of the furniture is. Look at all these curves, everything. It just looks so custom made because it is. All these brass little railings. You come in here and you've got this vanity area here. Look at the light fitting. It's just so cool. I think it's fantastic. Um, you've got your head in here and separate shower. Just have a look in there, Paul, and just let them see that shower. That's, that's custom made. Isn't that cool? Even the shower head's the same. So in your own little private space, you're really far away from the rest of the boat here. And as we learnt when we're talking to Paolo, the skipper, sounds really struggle to travel through this boat. So it's quite a quiet boat, 12 millimetre plate steel. So you don't really hear the ocean on this one. And he's just saying, it just improves the guest experience really. And, and when I saw the construction at the factory and how they hang the roof ceilings and the insulation away separate from the steel, that makes sense. So they're not carrying the vibration through the boat. So come on down this way. So this is actually your door from the master. So then we'll actually go and look on the starboard side. So this is one of the kiddies cabins. We've got the fold down Pullman berth just there. So it's two singles or three if you choose. And then you've got your own toilet and separate shower just on this side. There you go. And then let's just pop over and have a look at the other one. So straight to the port side almost straight across, we have another kiddies cabin just here. So that is what the Pullman berth looks like in the stowed position. So you can do six kids in these two cabins if you choose another toilet and separate shower. And then let's just keep moving. We've got some linen storage as we pass our way down to the VIPs. And now we've got nice big island berths, little window here, lots of storage, flat screen TVs, this cool design, even these handles. I just think that's so funky. It's so cool when people put their own flavor into the design of a boat. So coming around here, just pop the camera into the loo so everyone can see. There you go. Another toilet and separate shower. So aft of us would be the main bulkhead going into the engine bay. So we basically have a mirror image from what I can see just quickly looking on the starboard side. So VIPs in the middle of the boat, kiddies forward, master right up the front. Let's keep it moving. Let's go check out the crew area. Okay, so coming up these stairs. And we're gonna go forward this time, past the day head and Hopefully, no one's in here. So here we go. Full on professional galley on the port side. So basically, this enables the crew to do their thing, prepare all your nice meals, send it out through this door and disappear, should that be the desire. So they can really operate out of sight 
if, it's, if need be. And this is the crew mess. More, more refrigeration, washer and dryer for them, and they can keep a close eye on what's going on with their screens for the cameras right across the boat from in here. And they also, just worth pointing this out, have their own little door on the starboard side to get out on the outside of the boat. So once again, they can be moving around and out of the guest's way if that's so desired. Probably won't open all these doors, but the crew cabins are just here. So we've got bunk cabins here, another one here, and there will be another one forward of that. I'm not gonna open that because I don't know who's on board. I'm gonna try not to get into their personal life. This is an escape hatch just above me here that'll go up onto the deck. So let's take a, a walk around to the bow and wrap this up, I think. We'll probably go out. Why don't we just go out one of these doors? There we go. Alrighty, I'm, I'm gonna catch them once again in action. So just going down the starboard side here. No, we'll, we don't need to wrap it up on the bow. We'll wrap it up on the transom. Come on with me down to the transom. Opac Mare, this is how you get in the water. This will deploy, and then when it's deployed, you're gonna have stairs into the water so you can sit it underneath the water or you can raise it up. Really, really wonderful uh, option for getting people in and out of the water. Tenders, they can pull up alongside and board people from the side just here. And when they are running, they'll tow a big tender or stow the regular size ribs up there. Just want to point this out. Is this not the coolest shower you've seen in a long time? Wouldn't mind one of these. So anyway, that's the quick walkthrough, guys. Um, I hope that gave you an insight into this CDM Darwin class. It's 31 metres, 247 gross tonnes. She'll cruise at 4,700 nautical miles at 10 knots or more through about anything you choose. So these boats really are bulletproof. They're a lot of boat and I think quite suitable for the Australian market because this is a size that we can berth and facilitate all the way around Australia and New Zealand. It's not too big compared to some of the Mediterranean style boats. And it's got the range, it's got the redundancy, it's got the capability to sit up places like Northwestern Australia and do its thing. I hope that was useful. If you like this content, if you want to see a detailed walkthrough of the engine room, bridge, and the other operational facilities, that's a separate video to this. My name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. Thank you. See you on the next one.